on how to make a transparent header, a fixed transparent header, using Bricks Builder, Frames, and Automatic CSS. Okay, so just to see kind of how it works. So the header doesn't is not sticky; it just stays at the top. Very simple. And we'll jump to the top. Oops. Okay. So uh, how do we set this up? So I said we we're using frames. So if we come over here, this is the header right there. This is header alpha, I believe. Okay. Here's the menu. Here's some action buttons, just so you see the structure. Now, to accomplish this, there's a couple things to keep in mind. So I'm just going to come back up here. Um, what we want to do is we want to say, OK, this section here, um, uh, that you know the whole like hero section it actually ends up here so this isn't actually the final look that we're going to have so this header is actually going to be um, further above by exactly the height of the header so there's going to be a space added um, above this section which is right here where i'm where my mouse is uh, and then the header is going to be above it um, it's a little tricky to do without automatic CSS and you know frames and everything. Uh, but let me just like walk you through and show you it's actually quite quite simple to put together. So it's just gonna involve a little bit of custom CSS. So we come over to the main nav. This is my class by the way. It's not automatic CSS, just a random name I made up. Uh, and then we have this is the CSS right here. So we just say position absolute. So that takes it out of the flow of the document. And then we're gonna put at the top zero Z index of 10. So that's going to be on top of the hero section that lies below it. Okay. But now we got to fix this problem of the spacing here. See the spacing, um, uh, th this should be above, right? It shouldn't get in the way of this section. The section actually should extend even further above to fill up this. So that's what we need to accomplish. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get funky spacing. So to fix that, we go to automatic CSS, which is really handy. Go to layout, header, and now this is where we tell CSS, okay, for each breakpoint, this is how high the header will be so that you can adjust this. Uh, so you can basically, I think it just pushes this section below it. So it's going to tell it like by how far to do that. Um, but not only is it like pushing stuff down, it's also like extending it up into this header, which is what we want. We want it to like um, bleed up to this so this uh, has the background of the hero image. So how do you do that? How do you find these heights, right? Um, you go to the dev tools. So at 1020, go to Chrome dev tools, set it to responsive mode, enter in 1020, uh, and then click on the header area, go to computed, and then find the height and continue. You just go to this and this and this and do the same thing. All right. So once you got those, you enter them in, and then you click this button. So offset content automatically fixes spacing issues with sticky uh, and overlay. Oh, pardon me. This is an overlay header, overlay transparent header. Uh, it will not work if a header height isn't set. So you got to set these things, OK? So an overlay transparent header. So we come here, and we click the button. Look, the spacing is as it should be. So this section. Uh, had there not been a sticky header here, it would have ended here. But because we click this button, it tells um, it, it basically extends this hero uh, further up into here. So uh, we get to see the background of the hero in the overlay sticky header. So I think you get it now. So let me just click save. And we are good. I hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Bye.